What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. This right here, folks, is the tweak that I have been talking about. I've been raving about on Twitter for the last week or two. It is called Pro Widgets. It is a revolutionary widget suite and framework for iOS, and it works on the iPad, it works on the iPhone, and I'm telling you folks, you're gonna really love this. It allows you to multitask with widgets right from your home screen or within an application or on the lock screen. It doesn't really matter. You can use those widgets anywhere. And I'm gonna show you this right now. I'm gonna break it down for you, uh, some of the features that you can find for Pro Widgets. Now, once you install the tweak, you will find this settings panel in the stock settings app for Pro Widgets. And this is where you go to configure how the tweak works. Now at the top you have the widget panel which contains a list of all of your installed widgets. Now from the get-go there are quite a few installed widgets like Alarm, Browser, Calendar, Dictionary, Mail, Messages, Notes, Reminders, etc. And you can also go out and create your own third-party widgets, third-party themes, import them directly uh, via Pro Widgets preferences and developers are encouraged to use JavaScript, create your own widgets or use Objective-C if you really want to go the advanced route and make some advanced widgets for Pro Widgets. The point is the developer, Alan Yip, is encouraging developers to hop on board and create add-ons for Pro Widgets. It's extensible, it's a framework, and it can be used to create really cool stuff. Now you can launch widgets directly from Control Center using a quick launch shortcut, just like that. So you can see I launched the event calendar, and I can tap on that and get a list view of my event, sort of like iOS 7.1. So that is one of the really cool features of 7.1, kind of built right into Pro Widgets on jailbroken devices, less than iOS 7.1, so that's really cool. And of course, there are other widgets that you can launch directly from Control Center. How about this? The browser. Yes, you can access a full-fledged browser from anywhere courtesy of Pro Widgets. You can access this while you're within another app or from the lock screen or anything else. You can access that browser, minimize it, move it around, go back to it later on if you want to do that, launch other apps in the background, continue to move it around. It basically allows you to multitask along with the other applications on your device. And you can, of course, manipulate apps behind the widget or manipulate the home screen or you can launch other widgets while that widget is minimized and you can play around with it. So I can launch the messages widget or any other widget for that matter. And I can double tap on the minimized widget, which is the browser widget to get rid of that, just like that. Uh, so there's just so many things you can do, so many different combinations that you can have with Pro Widgets. So let's launch something else here. How about the uh, timer or the uh, alarm clock rather? Uh, so I launched that, you know, you could see I can choose my uh, ringtone for the alarm clock. I can actually set my alarm directly from this widget. I can also access the full alarm list. If I go back to that here, I could tap on where it says alarm there, and you could see the list of alarms just like that as if I opened and, and launched the stock clock app on the alarm section. So there's just really so many different things you can do, and you can see I can launch different widgets using activator gestures. I have those assigned to double taps on the status bar. So you can see I did that. You can also launch widgets directly from notification center. See those little buttons in the bottom left and right hand corner. You can launch widgets directly from there. Also the lock screen, you can launch the browser directly from the lock screen to, uh, using the little button in the bottom left hand corner for the browser. And you can of course browse to your favorite website, minimize it while on the lock screen, unlock your device, keep the widget there, launch something else in the background if you wanna do that, and continue to have your widget just suspended in midair right there on the top of the application that you're currently running. Uh, you can maximize it if you wanna do that by tapping it. You can open that page in Safari by tapping the share button, and you can close that widget out and just Go about your business with the full-fledged Safari browser if you choose to do so. So let's go back to Pro Widget settings for a second. Let's go into the configuration section and then select the minimization view size. Now I can make those little minimized views a little smaller, actually a lot smaller. Now, just by adjusting the view size here, you can see the little widget is a lot smaller than it was at first. So you can fit a whole bunch of widgets minimized on screen at once and I'm gonna search for the dictionary there, and I'm gonna minimize that, see how small it is. And you can just rearrange those all over your home screen, all over an app that's currently running, maximize it again if you wanna do that, and really get some true multitasking, or at least multitasking that is suited for an iOS device. 
That is what Pro Widgets allows you to do. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other potential uses for this. You already saw one of those, that being Spotify. I can't wait till that widget is complete. But folks, I'm telling you, this is one of the best jailbreak tweaks I have ever used. And it is one of the most exciting tweaks to ever hit Cydia. And I can't wait till this thing is finished and you can try it out for yourself. But in the meantime, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.